Welcome to your Kentuckiana home, presented by Commonwealth Bank and Trust. Join us as we take an in-depth and entertaining look at the local housing market. Farms is the picture-perfect neighborhood for any family. Nestled amongst McNeely Lake Park, Cooper Farms is filled with gorgeous trees and wildlife. This family-oriented neighborhood is a kid's paradise, complete with a playground, junior Olympic-sized swimming pool, and picnic areas. While your kids are splashing around the pool and playing on the playground, you will enjoy the convenience of being just minutes from your home. Ball Homes offers a variety of floor plans, with homes ranging from 1,853 square feet to well over 3,500, Ball Homes can customize the perfect home for you and your family. Hi, I'm Kimberly Greenwell. Thanks for joining us again on Your Kentuckiana Home. I'm here with David Parks with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Parks and Weisberg, and we're in the beautiful Cooper Farms neighborhood. And you guys have a lot of floor plans to offer folks here. Yeah, we sure do. So if you come out this weekend to visit with our team, we have 33 floor plans that we build in this subdivision. Uh, traditional two stories, ranch plan, story and a half, first floor master, second floor master, in-ground basement, walk-out basement, and some houses that don't have a finished lower level. And you offer a lot of upgrades um, in the different plans as well, don't you? Yes, we find that customers now, they come in, we allow them to choose how they want to spend their money. So they get to customize the house the way they want it. The most popular floor plan changes that we see, or should I say customization changes that we see, are upgrading the kitchens and the master bath. And what does an upgraded kitchen mean? So an upgraded kitchen, our, our normal kitchen is very, very nice, but often you'll see somebody come in and decide they want to put a ceramic tile backsplash in. Maybe they want to use a, a stainless steel appliance package. We even do a dual fuel stainless steel appliance package. We see a lot of large islands in the kitchen with beadboard surrounds, granite countertops, those types of things. And what does, um, and the same thing with the upgraded master bath, what do they get with that? Sure, so a master bath, you can do lots of different things, but the most common thing that we see is a full tile shower with a frameless glass surround, a soaking tub with a tile surround, raised height vanities and granite countertops. And tell me a little bit about the neighborhood. Well, this is a great neighborhood. We're about three or four minutes from McNeely Park. We have beautiful wooded walkout lots in the back section. It's just a great community with lots of features. All right, sounds good. Well, thanks for joining us today and telling us about the upgrades and the plans that are available with the Ball Homes and Cooper Farms. And we'll be back with more information about the Cooper Farms neighborhood. I'm here with Pat Griso, who is with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, and she is a ball home specialist here at Cooper Farms and some of the other communities that you guys have. So tell us a little bit about Cooper Farms. It's an amazing family-friendly community, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's absolutely a family-friendly community. Um, right behind us is the clubhouse for the neighborhood, and inside it we have a uh, exercise room. And right behind the clubhouse is an amazing pool. Yes, it's a junior Olympic sized swimming pool and we have professional lifeguards on during the summer season uh, which is opens on Memorial Day and closes on Labor Day and it's just a great place for the family to be. That's amazing that you guys have lifeguards on staff. Well, it's kind of one of the requirements of having <laughs> that kind of pool. <laughs> it is, it is. Well, and right beside the pool is a, a really nice playground. Absolutely, and it's, it's a fenced-in playground, so you don't have to worry about the little ones running out into the street, and it's a, it's a secure area for them to be able to play. And you have some play groups for the adults here as well, don't you? There's some walking groups around. Yes, there are. And there's a bunch of groups that meet different times, uh, whether they're working days or nights, and they do their mile or two. And mm -hmm. it's nice because the community has sidewalks to be able to do that. So if someone's looking for, uh, if someone wants a neighborhood like this that has a pool, that has a playground, that has a fitness center, um, what are some of the lots that are available for them? We have some beautifully wooded lots that back up to a, a, a 
McNeely Lake Park, which is a um, preserved area, so the trees will never disappear. Mm -hmm. um, part of the McNeely Lake Park is a major renovation that's going on right now, where they are making an indoor arena for the horses, and they're improving the trails and some other things. Wow, so not only do you have a pool in your backyard, you have walking trails just across the way, right? Absolutely. Another thing that's really great about Cooper Farms is its central location. You're about two miles from Gene Snyder and 65 and then you have great shopping uh, right off the Preston, Preston Highway corridor. Um, between grocery shopping, there's the couple of department store type places, and there's also some really great restaurants. We're not very far from Quail Chase Golf Course either, which is a great place to play golf. Yes, and, and another plus of being in Cooper Farms. Absolutely. All right, well, thank you so much for telling us about the neighborhood, Pat. We really appreciate it. Well, we hope everybody could come out and visit us at our models. It's open on Saturday and Sundays from 1 to 5, and Tuesdays, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, 2 to 5, and that's located on Blair Creek Court. We do have other models in the Shelbyville Road mm -hmm. corridor that are also open. All right, sounds good. Well, if you're looking for a family-friendly neighborhood, you need to come out today and visit Cooper Farms. Welcome to Integrity Group Realtors, your one-stop shop for all of your real estate needs. I've been in the real estate industry since 1977, opened Integrity Group Realtors in 2008. We serve Louisville and the surrounding counties, including Bullitt, Oldham, Shelby, Spencer. Um, and if anyone knows real estate, we know real estate. Hello, my name is Pamela shoemaker Colvin, a real estate agent here at Integrity Group Realtors. And my name is Katherine Green. I'm a closing attorney at Mattingly Ford Title Services. I specialize in the facilitation of short sales, which is what we are here to discuss with you. If you're behind on payments and you need to get out from underneath your house, give us a call today. It can be a scary process when you're receiving court pleadings from the bank and facing foreclosure. Often it's a difficult time in your life when you've lost a spouse or you've lost your job. There are a lot of reasons. I've helped a lot of people in a lot of situations and every short sale is different, but that's why we're here to help. If you contact me, we can get your house on the market and sold before it goes into the foreclosure process. Absolutely. It's a lot of red tape and that's what's scary with the banks. You'll be on hold for hours at a time and get nowhere. So call Pamela. Call me today and we will facilitate the short sale process for you. Not every home sale is the same. Sometimes an estate sale is the best option. Let me introduce you to the Logsdon Group. Hello, I'm Sean Logsdon with the Logsdon Group. We specialize in auction and real estate services. I'm one of the few certified estate specialists in this local area designated by the National Auctioneers Association. We work closely with estates and families faced with a very tough decision on what to do with their personal property and real estate. We can help both. So please contact us today in order to find out how we can help you liquidate your real estate and personal property in a fair and lucrative manner. Your Kentuckiana home is proud to be partnering with Commonwealth Bank and Trust to bring you this great program. Let CB&T guide you in the purchase of your new home or refinance your existing home. Call 259-2300 for details. Your Kentucky in a home, and I'm here with Martha Woodford with Woodford Building and Remodeling. Martha, we're in your garage right now, and you actually designed this yourself with a little help. Yes, I designed it. I had a very, very clear picture of what I wanted to do in here, and with the help of the Closet Factory, we designed this together. And I really had wanted uh, brushed nickel doors. We came up with this concept of using this color of a melamine. And um, it's just really well organized. I keep my Christmas ornaments, I keep my canned goods, and uh, my paint, which is really important to me. Yeah, and there's a lot of storage in these cabinets, too. Oh, the, this stuff was everywhere. The floor, you couldn't walk in here. <laughs> it's amazing what a really well organized garage will do for your life. It is, it is. And you are, you needed a really well organized garage because you're really good at repurposing items and recycling them for your clients in your design work. I am. I'm always shopping. Always, always shopping. 
and finding things at a great price for my clients to use down the road. Would you like to see yes. some of my items? Yes, I would love to. I hate really giving up this tip, but one of my favorite places to shop is Blue Ocean Traders on 7th Street. Wow. Everything they have is repurposed, recycled from all over the world. These are a few samples of some pieces I've gotten from them. And they are all tin, and they have strips of decorative metal around them. And I'm going to put these in my garden with a plant in them. They're oh, going to look these great. These would be really nice for that. And what's this place called again? Blue Ocean Traders on 7th Street. We're sorry to give your secret out to so many people. Yeah. <laughs> and so you have one more, you have a couple other things to show us here. And this is a nice, heavy piece of glass here that you're using as a sink, right? Yes, and this is not, this isn't anything that is getting repurposed. This mm -hmm. is, a, is a sink, but we found a great buy on them. This company was actually going out of business, and these sinks are thousands of dollars. And when I heard they were going out of business, my assistant, April, and I went down there and dug through their boxes and picked out the best ones and filled up my garage with them. And now we use them for our clients. They get something that's worth thousands of dollars and they only have to pay $100 for it. This is really nice. And speaking of inexpensive things, you have this table that you made out of a door. Yeah, this is really fun. Um, we went to Architectural Salvage and I was really just looking for things that were free mm -hmm. that I could make into um, things for a customer that didn't have a budget. Yes. So, as a lot of clients <laughs> do. All of us. So, I had an idea to make a table. So, we took the door. They were glad to get rid of it because it's all beat up and wasn't really useful as a door anymore. Mm -hmm. Brought it back here, cut it in half. Then I took some red paint, mixed it with water so I got more of, uh, of a wash. Uh -huh. And then we washed it. So it has an outdoor barn-like feel. Mm -hmm. These are called hairpin legs. They can be bought at Lowe's, Home Depot, Etsy, Amazon. Very, very easy and simple to put on. They just screw on, and I did that myself with a, t a tool. I didn't need anybody to help me. <laughs> I would probably still need help. <laughs> so this is still a work in progress. Uh -huh. And um, we're going to finish it off with, with this, right? We're gonna, I'm going to cut this into strips. And then these are hammer heads, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll hammer them into the top of it just for a, a little decoration, and they'll be ready to go set on your patio or your backyard and have a glass of wine. Nice. And you have this other door over here that is going to be a pocket door, right? But it looks like marble. How did you guys do this? Well, I had a client that wanted a granite door, mm -hmm. and they wanted it to separate their bathroom their master bathroom from their master bedroom with a granite door. Mm -hmm. So we came up with this idea that we would get a door, and this is actually Formica. It's called Formica FX180, and it comes in all different designs. So we applied it to the door on all four sides, and um, it's very, very lightweight, and this will be a work of art that is hanging in their house that looks like a piece of marble. And you could do this for a countertop as well if you wanted the look of marble but didn't have the budget for marble. Exactly. And that's really the main purpose for this is to be used as a countertop. We just like to shake things up and bait it into a door. Why not? And we have some other things that you shake things up with downstairs in your, in your guest bedroom that we're going to see in just a few moments. I'm excited to show you. We're back with Martha, and your designs are just so wonderful and inexpensive. How can someone use your company? Well, I work exclusively for Wolford Building and Remodeling, so if you hire us to do your remodeling job or build new construction, you get me for free. And one of the things that you may get if they hire you is another inexpensive way to decorate your walls that won't bust the bank, right? That's right. Um, this is actually not wallpaper. This is contact paper that has been cut and applied. And I wanted to change up the room, but I didn't want to go to the mess of painting and the permanency of painting. So this is a great idea for kids that want to change their room as they're growing or people that are on the move a lot. It just peels off like that and just peels right back on. You're good to go. 
That's perfect. It's genius. I would have never thought of that. Thank you. That's why I need to hire you the next time I remodel or build, right? I'm available for you. <laughs> well, if you're remodeling or building and you would like Martha and her husband Ron to build your dream home or remodel your perfect bath or kitchen, you give them a call today. The, their contact information is on your screen. Your Kentuckiana home is proud to be partnering with Commonwealth Bank and Trust to bring you this great program. Let CB&T guide you in the purchase of your new home or refinance your existing home. Call 259-2300 for details. Martha, you were telling me earlier that your services are only available if you hire Ron here. That's absolutely correct. So how did you guys get started as a husband and wife team? Well, Ron was a home builder and has been a home builder for 40 years. And he had his own business and I had my own business. And Ron was one of the largest uh, spec home builders in the country. And then 2008 happened, mm -hmm. and I let go of my jewelry business, and he and I decided to start a remodeling business together because that's what people were needing. And so you guys offer both building and remodeling, and Ron, you have been in the business for how long? Since 1974, we started building homes. Martha has been a great asset. Not a, we can put the whole thing together now. We can design the home, decorate the home, and Martha's been wonderful to work with. And you guys have a variety of budgets that you work with, right? You don't have to have the beautiful spec home that you guys have in Shake Sharon to use you guys. <laughs> we do any price range of remodeling and any price range of a new home. All right. Well, tell us about how it works. What's the process when someone gives you a call and, and, and they're looking for a home? The process is that we invite them either to come here or we go to their location and we per first see if we're a fit we see if they like us and if we like them if we have the same goals in mind if their goals are reasonable um, and set expectations then we call in our whole team all right well we're looking forward to meeting your team in just a few minutes great Now, Martha, you were just telling me that you guys have 600 years of experience. Now, Ron does not look that old. Yeah, let me correct that. It's really, we've built 600 houses, 
40 years in, in business. And you guys have April, who's your team leader here, and she helps you guys through the remodeling and the building process, right? Yes, ma'am. Um, I'm a proud employee. Um, it's been a great experience to work with Ron and his 600 homes in Louisville. Um, also heading to northern Kentucky now these days as well. Wow. Um, and then Martha's design experience from New York, New York, and Paris, France, obviously just brings a beautiful dazzle to the Wolford building and remodeling brand. And so you guys work as a team. What does that mean for your clients? Okay, um, it's very much a team aspect when you come in and meet us. Um, we have different departments that people handle. Um, I'm team leader, so I help organize things like project manage. Um, we also have on staff an architectural draftsman who does all the plans for the remodeling and the building, which is a very important process in this um, industry. It's how you can show clients on paper, like what their home's gonna look like, whether you wanna make rooms bigger or smaller, whether you wanna add a deck, take a deck away. And that's also how we move forward into the pricing, which is what Mary handles. And she takes those plans that are made and she brings them to our vendors. And then our vendors are able to tell us the cost of concrete, brick, siding, fixtures, you name it. And that's a really big deal because if you used if you used another builder that didn't have this team, you would have to go and price out those those different um, the tile and the flooring yourself, right? Well, I, I don't I don't know if they would have to price it themselves. But what is important about working with someone like us who has all this experience is we do get the best pricing in the industry. Mm -hmm. So. Our clients depend on us to find them the best pricing on flooring, find them the best pricing on carpet. But it all sounds very technical, but I think the most, the most important thing is when people work with us, they have fun. And it's a fun process building your house or remodeling. And you guys make it really easy for them. You're saying that you're the chief hand holder. <laughs> I am. I, the chief hand holding officer. And uh, people need to, need to be told that what they're mm -hmm. doing is okay. There's so many um, options out there and there's so many right options people need to be reassured that it is a good option that is a good decision and then they also need to be told when it's not so good okay well if you want to be told when it's not so good <laughs> and you want to chief hand holding officers then give Martha a call Welcome to Integrity Group Realtors, your one-stop shop for all of your real estate needs. Call Integrity Group Realtors today. I've been in the real estate industry since 1977, opened Integrity Group Realtors in 2008. We serve Louisville and the surrounding counties, including Bullitt, Oldham, Shelby, Spencer, um, and if anyone knows real estate, we know real estate. We connect them with a lender who helps them determine what is the best loan for them. Everyone is different. There's different loans. Uh, the next thing we would do is help them find the right house. My name is Karen Rodriguez. I'm an associate broker here at Integrity Group Realtors. I've been in the real estate now for almost 30 plus years and I've watched it evolve into the technology industry it is today for both the buyers and the sellers. I'm a numbers girl. My average days on the market are 57 and my list price to sold price is 98.9%. So to get the job done, call me. My customers are number one. Integrity Group Realtors has a long-standing relationship with Caliber Home Loans to ensure you receive the right financing to meet your budget. Hi, I'm Kathy Small with Caliber Home Loans, and I work with Integrity Group Realtors in order to help them get their buyers pre-approved. We offer loans ranging from conventional, FHA, VA, USDA, as well as KHC for first-time home buyers. If you're looking to get pre-approved today, give me a call. I can have you approved um, in a couple of hours. People usually choose people before they choose a service or a company. Contact us today. Call Integrity Group Realtors, your one-stop shop for all your real estate needs today. Your Kentuckiana home is proud to be partnering with Commonwealth Bank and Trust to bring you this great program. Let CB&T guide you in the purchase of your new home or refinance your existing home. Call 259-2300 for details.
Welcome back to your Kentuckyana home presented by Commonwealth Bank and Trust. Next up, Terry Rowe will be giving us some great do-it-yourself tips. Hello, this is Terry once again with Lowe's Home Improvement Warehouse. Uh, we're going to go over something this week that sometimes we don't really pay much attention to till we get ready to use it, and that's our garden hose. We'll, we'll pull it off of the reel and we'll notice that it has a splint in it, and that usually happens when we don't let all the water out and through the winter it freeze, it'll bust our line, and then we'll have to deal with that in the spring because we don't have no way of knowing it until we get ready to use it. Uh, so what we're going to do, we have these parts that are available in any of the, the low stores. This is a coupling if you have a crack in the middle. It comes with two uh, C-clamps. You simply just cut the hose as I'll show you. The best pair of scissors that I've got is my pruning shears. Not everybody's supposed to use them for that, but they're good garage scissors. And you just take your hose wherever your split is. You can snap that off. You take the coupling. Slide on your C-clamp, put the coupling on there, pull it down there, tighten it up with the clamp, put your other side of your hose on with the clamp, and your hose would be just as good as new. You can do the same thing if you have a bad male or female in. Same idea, you just have to slide it, put your, wash, or your clamp on there, slide that fitting on, clamp it down, and then you got it ready to go. Don't have to worry about it at all. Another neat little item that we have is it's called the no kink. And, and what this does is this goes to your faucet and then to your hose to keep you when you go to pull your hose a little bit, it might bend like this, cut your water off. Well, this has a heavy duty spring in it and it's gonna keep it from doing that so that you don't have your water cut off the whole time that you're trying. Now, sometimes our hoses just get old dry rotted and they just simply need to be replaced. And when they need to be replaced, we have several different types here. We got the light duty one that a lot of the homeowners will use. This is our light duty one. Then you can step up to like a medium grade. This is a, a homeowner's. Then we have the contractor grade, which is heavy rubber. It won't kink. It, it stands up a lot better. And even for your landscaping, we have a soaker hose. You just connect this to your faucet and water will seep out all through this hose so that it waters your landscaping evenly throughout your whole garden so you don't have to worry about staying in there holding it or measuring a sprinkler. You can just turn it on and it'll just soak all through all of your landscaping. So so with that, you should be able to get your hose back in repair, wash the car, wash the driveway, wash the kids, the dogs, the lawnmower, whatever you need and won't have any leaks. Hello, this is Terry again from Lowe's Home Improvement Warehouse. Thanks for, for you turning us on again, letting us come back into your living room. We want to show you something in, uh, from the garden center today about the retaining wall block. Uh, a lot of people think that they're just for lining your landscaping, but retaining wall block will help you to build up your yard to level it out. And the key note behind them is that these blocks are set with a ridge right here that as you're setting them, you know exactly how far to bring it forward. And as you do your backfill, it'll help you to build up your yard to keep it straight. Now, once you're setting them in, you'll come back from it, you'll backfill with gravel so it'll have the proper, proper drainage. You can use it to, to go one, two, three or high if you want to raise your uh, flower beds when you put your first row down. You can always back up and set you another level and have your uh, flower beds can come out to different tiers. You can do the same thing with your yard. You can down step it as the contour of your yard so that your driveway is nice and flat. There's a limitless amount of what you can do with your retaining wall block. The important thing is, is when you're setting it, you want to start with a level line, get your line leveled out, and you set your first block down at the nearest thing so you know how far to dig your trench. And as you're coming this way, you'll just keep adding and stacking up. Then you can backfill, bring your yard out, put you some sod on, and you'll have the perfect flat level yard once your grass gets in and no one will ever know any different. It'll last you uh, for a lifetime. It'll look good, crisp, and clean, and you'll always have it there to be able to, to have a good flat level yard or your tiered landscaping. A lot of people are kind of scared when they start to do the retaining wall block is how am I going to get this block in half when I just have a half block set. Now I've already scored this side, you score both sides and then we'll flip it over and work from the other side. And Again we take our cold chisel, there's a mark right here so that you can stay in. And it really doesn't matter if it's a third, a quarter or a half, it'll break the same. And 
and there you have it. It comes right in two. You got your half block to set. And if you're going to start a row, start with your half here. Of course, you don't want it in the middle. And then your second block will set here. You use a, a two foot level to come across it to keep your blocks level all the way. When you come in with your next course, you have your ridge right here. Okay, now as we're laying our first layer, uh, what you can do, if, if, and the way that you're actually supposed to do it, if you're gonna go more than four block high, you need your first layer to be four inches in your dirt. That's gonna give you stability. And then as you go, you start to layer it up. They got cap blocks that you can cap it off to give it a real finished look. When you put that cap block on, you'll use some construction adhesive to seal it, and then you'll have your retaining wall block be the rest of your days. Thanks, Terry. Those are some great tips that you just gave us. Stay tuned for a new segment on your Kentucky and at home called Move or Improve. Your Kentucky and a home is proud to be partnering with Commonwealth Bank and Trust to bring you this great program. Let CB&T guide you in the purchase of your new home or refinance your existing home. Call 259-2300 for details. This week on Your Kentucky and a Home, the Move or Improve team visits the home of Devin Finney in Indian Hills. We'll show Devin how he can get all of his needs met with a designer basement renovation. Next week, Ellen will show Devin other gorgeous Louisville homes that suit his family's lifestyle and needs. We'll give Devin and his family financing options that fit their budget, no matter what option they choose. Stay tuned to see if Devin will move or improve. Next week, Ellen Chaikin is going to show you some great houses that might make you want to move. I don't know, Martha. What you did in our bathroom last year was phenomenal. She'd have a hard time finding that anywhere else. Well, Ellen really loves a challenge, so that's great. Why don't you tell me a little bit about what you're looking for and the things that would make you want to move or make you want to stay? As you know, we have two kids and all of their toys tend to creep into the main living space. What we'd really like to do is create a place where they can keep their things and play and have a good time. Maybe a place where we can spend time as a family, work out, maybe put an exercise machine in or two, and enjoy the great view we have out the back. 
but I'm having a hard time visualizing the space. I just can't see it, and that's why I think I might want to move. But maybe you could help. Absolutely. Wolford's known for their great design services. All you have to do is show me your basement, show me around, and I'll get some ideas to you. Absolutely. Let's go check it out. Okay, great. Martha, what I forgot to tell you upstairs is I got a little head start on the project. Yes, you did, Devin. Why don't you tell me what you've gotten yourself into? It all started with one loose little rock, and I thought, not too bad. One thing led to another, and now I'm in over my head. Well, the good thing is I'm here, and I can help you with this. I hope so. I am so sick of this, I can throw my hands in the air and just find a new place to live. Before you do that, talk to me a little bit about the vision you had down here. Sure. Well, I thought I could do a nice stack stone, or maybe some tile around the fireplace. Something sleek and modern. And then on the floor, maybe a nice hardwood, something that's easy to keep clean. That's great, because I have some samples that I think are really going to fit the bill for you. Why don't we go upstairs and have a look at them, and I can get you to stay. Oh, well, let's go take a look. Let's do it. Martha, you've sold me some great materials. I really love what you've picked out. I especially love this flooring. What is it again? It's eucalyptus, and I thought you might like that. Oh, I do. It's harder than hardwood. Uh -huh. It is great for kids, great for animals, and it's cost effective. That's great. Which leads me to, we probably should talk about budget. You know, after talking with you, this project might be a little bit bigger than we want to get into. So now I'm thinking it might be better to move. But you have options. You need to call Donna at Commonwealth. Okay. Well, she's a mortgage officer. Are you trying to get me to move? No, I'm trying to get you to improve. There are many, many options for financing, both for remodeling or moving, and she can sit down with you and have a confidential meeting, and she can guide you as the best way to go for your particular needs. Huh. Well, I'll give her a call. Great. Wow. It looks like Martha certainly has her work cut out for her. And Devin, what did you do to that basement? Tune in next week for more Move or Improve. Welcome to Integrity Group Realtors, your one-stop shop for all of your real estate needs. I've been in the real estate industry since 1977, opened Integrity Group Realtors in 2008. We serve Louisville and the surrounding counties, including Bullitt, Oldham, Shelby, Spencer. Um, and if anyone knows real estate, we know real estate. Yeah. Hello, my name is Pamela shoemaker Colvin, a real estate agent here at Integrity Group Realtors. And my name is Katherine Green. I'm a closing attorney at Mattingly Ford Title Services. I specialize in the facilitation of short sales, which is what we are here to discuss with you. If you're behind on payments and you need to get out from underneath your house, give us a call today. It can be a scary process when you're receiving court pleadings from the bank and facing foreclosure. Often it's a difficult time in your life when you've lost a spouse or you've lost your job. There are a lot of reasons. I've helped a lot of people in a lot of situations and every short sale is different, but that's why we're here to help. If you contact me, we can get your house on the market and sold before it goes into the foreclosure process. Absolutely. It's a lot of red tape, and that's what's scary with the banks. You'll be on hold for hours at a time and get nowhere. So call Pamela. Call me today, and we will facilitate the short sale process for you. Not every home sale is the same. Sometimes an estate sale is the best option. Let me introduce you to the Logsdon Group. Hello, I'm Sean Loxton with the Logsdon Group. We specialize in auction and real estate services. I'm one of the few certified estate specialists in this local area designated by the National Auctioneers Association. We work closely with estates and families faced with a very tough decision on what to do with their personal property and real estate. We can help both. So please contact us today in order to find out how we can help you liquidate your real estate and personal property in a fair and lucrative manner. Your Kentuckiana home is proud to be partnering with Commonwealth Bank and Trust to bring you this great program. Let CB&T guide you in the purchase of your new home or refinance your existing home. Call 259-2300 for details.
Welcome back to WBNA's Your Kentucky in a Home. I hope you enjoyed meeting Rocky. If you would like more information on Rocky, Elite Homes, or Day Parks, use the contact information on your screen. We'll be back with Day Parks a little later, but for now, check out these home improvement tips from Terry Rowe with Lowe's Home Improvement Warehouse. Hello, this is Terry with Lowe's Home Improvement Warehouse. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about getting your driveway ready to reseal. Through the winter, the salt, all of the weather, you tend to start to get cracks in it. Maybe have a few little holes that you need to replace. There's a couple of products here that we have with us that you'll be able to use. Now, if you're just starting with the crack, this crack filler comes. It's got a nozzle that's on top of it. You can flip the nozzle over, and as you put it on, cut it off, and you can use it to fill the crack. That'll keep it from becoming a pothole later. It's good to get all the cracks sealed before you start to actually do your driveway sealer. And for your bigger potholes, we have what's called a cold patch. You see some of the professional companies, they'll be out with torches and stuff to, to use the, the heat uh, or hot asphalt, I guess I should say. And you can do this at home with a cold patch. It's a real simple process. Looks like it's a whole lot, but you can get that hole fixed before you even start to do your uh, blacktop sealer. And maybe we can cover that on another program at another time. But we're gonna show you today how to fix that crack and how to fix that whole bolt. First thing we wanna do when we get to, to our hole is we wanna clean out all of the debris and we'll open our cold patch. And it's a simple product. It looks just like asphalt that you would see coming out of any other machine. And as you get it, you can take your tamp, straighten that hole out, and then you just tamp it down. Nice, flat, it'll cover it, and you can come back behind with this product, or we also have it in a caulk tube to seal up the perimeter, any of these cracks around in here, you seal that up, that'll keep moisture from getting underneath it, causing it to separate, and when it separates, that's when it starts to crack. Uh, as you start to patch, anything that might be loose, as you can see, this looks like it's loose, but it's really not. You don't have to bring that out, but anything that's loose, you wanna take it out, maybe even sweep it. Normally, uh, you wanna do this when it's dry. The warmer it is, the better it is. Anytime you're doing your driveway sealer, your asphalt patch, any kind of, of uh, crack sealing, filling, you want to make sure that you use it when it's good and warm and dry. The warmer it is, the better it's going to seal for you. So with that, uh, we would come in, go around our cracks here with this, like I said, if you don't have many, you can use it in a caulk tube. It's real simple to use. Just cut it like you would be caulking your, your sink or, or anything else in your house. You can come right along these cracks, fill them all up, and then you can come back with your driveway sealer. Just brush it, squeeze it down, and then you're gonna have your driveway look like a brand new one in no time at all. Glad you let us come back in another week. Keep watching, we're gonna show you all kinds of things. What we're into today is we wanna show you what container gardening is. With more and more people being in condos, being in apartments, having limited space, and not really wanting to rent a tiller and a tractor and, and get into all that, they're going into containers. Now the first thing you want to do is even though that you're gonna get a tomato plant this size, this tomato plant's gonna to get about this big and you don't wanna start with this pot. Your roots have to have plenty of room to grow, plenty of room to get down in there and get the stuff that they need out of the soil. So we'll get us a good sized pot. First thing we wanna do, you do wanna use a potting mix. A lot of mistakes that people make is they always use topsoil. You don't wanna to use topsoil. That's good if you're out in your yard and it can drain, but topsoil will hold way too much moisture inside the pot. The potting soil will allow it to drain. So what I would do is I'd take my pot, i flip it over, and I'll drill me a few holes in the bottom here, put some drainage rock in there, uh, some loose gravel, that'll help it to drain real good, and then I'll fill it up with my potting mix, set my plant in there, you have enough room that you can stake your tomato later on, it'll continue to grow. Since it's already planted, already started, you can start fertilizing and helping it to grow immediately. This is the liquid You can use the uh, miracle Grow granules to mix up, give it the nutrition that it needs. And it's not just limited to tomatoes, even though that is the most popular plant, is tomatoes. You can put broccoli out, you can raise your own broccoli. Strawberries are very lot, very big. A lot of people like to have their strawberries. You can raise them in the same pot. You can even set you out onions, potatoes. One thing that me and my wife like, we'll get a pot that's shaped like this. Again, we'll put our drainage holes here, put the gravel in it, 
filled up with potting mix, and a long forgotten vegetable that is really excellent is bib lettuce. You just sow it in the line. As your salad grows up, you cut it off with scissors. It'll grow right back up. You can cut it off with scissors again and again and again. You can have everything you need for a salad or for your own vegetables within your own yard, and it's really no trouble at all. Easy to maintain, easy to keep up, and easy to take care of. I'm going to take just a couple of minutes here to show you how simple and easy this really is to do. Uh, we've got the products here. We've got our pot. We'll drill our holes in the bottom for drainage. It don't take a lot of gravel, just a few handfuls. We'll put in the bottom of the bowl so that it can drain. Then we'll go to our potting mix. And then we'll set our plant. We'll take the plastic off the edge, set our plant down in the hole, fill it in. You can stake it thin. All of these products, the plants, the broccoli, the onion, strawberry, tomatoes, potting soil, drainage gravel, uh, the, the actual pots, whatever size you need, we have these all available at your Lowe's Home Center. Thank you for watching Your Kentucky and a Home, presented by Commonwealth Bank and Trust. Be sure to join us next week for more of Your Kentucky and a Home.